Hi, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today, I want to show you how to make a balancing, a wine balancing uh, holder, a gr anti gravity holder. Uh, I've made a couple of these before in uh, using barrel staves, but I want to show you one that you don't have to do any drilling on. All right, so I got a couple pieces of scrap wood here, cherry and, and uh, walnut. We'll cut those up and uh, make this thing super simple. Now, if you want to have a uh, drawing of this, go to the bottom, click my, uh, click see more, then click my blog. In that blog, you'll find a dimension sketch. Also down there, you'll find uh, the tools and those kind of things that I normally use. Explore those, you might have some fun or find something interesting. So check those out. And uh, hey, let's start making. I'm gonna use the walnut for my centerpiece, but I want that to be an inch and a half, and this is a little bit uh, more than an inch and a half. It's uh, just a skosh over an inch and a half. So I want to get that down to an inch and a half exact. And then I'm going to use a cherry to flank that. So the cherry needs to be three quarters of an inch. So I'll be cutting this two, three quarters of an inch strips off of the cherry. Let's start cutting. I've set my table saw to 45 degrees. I've marked down three inches. So that tooth right there will land right into three inches, and I'll cut a 45. Let's make some noise. I have the 45s cut. Next thing I want to do is take off the sharp edge, because I don't really want this. This will just get beat up. So all I'm going to do is take the chisel, take off about a sixteenth of an inch, There we go. Doesn't take much, probably not even a sixteenth of an inch. I just want a nice little chamfer on it so when the bottle rests against it, it's not crushing that point. Then I'll hit it with some sandpaper and give it a little bit of a round. And there we go. Matter of fact, I'll And that's how simple it was. Okay. Next thing I want to do is glue the stuff together. And it's going to be two pieces flanked, but I need an inch and a half, <clears throat> inch and a half here in the center. Let's make sure I get that. Okay, that should be good. Okay, now. All I'm going to do is glue it together, let it dry, and then we'll come back and do some final cutting. Let's glue it up. All clamped up. Now all you have to do is wait about two to three hours for it to dry. And we'll do some final cuts and some sanding and finishing. Out of the clamps, now we have to use some sanding. This is not perfectly flush, so I need to do a little sanding, get that down. So let's start hitting it. And now we're going to throw on some BLO. One more little thing I got to do here.
I had a little pencil mark there to get rid of. So we'll flood the surface here. And there you see how that looks? Really nice. Boy, that's looking nice. Yeah, and there we go. Really liking it. I just love doing these projects. They don't take much time. Don't take much material in the way of materials. All right, they're easy to do. Don't take a lot of tools. And I have a lot of fun doing them. Plus, they're really useful. All right. So, like I said, I had fun doing this. Um, hope you got something out of this. If you go below and you want to make this, uh, hit uh, see more and then hit uh, my blog. In the blog, there is a uh, dimension drawing or sketch you can use to make one of these. And uh, there's also a number of links down there for tools and things that I use. So feel free to explore those. You might find something fun there. And uh, I hope you got something out of this. If you did, do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, until next time, folks, good making.